What's up guys and welcome back for another video on the finals. Look what we have today. I was absolutely not aware that an update was coming out for today. Um, so this is a great surprise and plus something tells me we've got good things coming. So I was thinking maybe we could look at it together, discover the details together, starting with this little uh, trailer they've built for us. So I was thinking maybe we can just look at it together. It's quite short and then we'll run through the patch notes and see what they came up with. Is that a shovel? Okay, new skins. All right, all right, all right, looking cool. I love the outfit there, biohazard style, really nice. Uh, okay, so we saw some shovels, some new little skins there, that's, that's pretty cool, but I think uh, we can directly jump into the update. So let's see what they've got cooking for us. So today's update comes with a number of balance changes for weapons and gadgets, including a decrease in the length of invulnerability after revival. That sounds awesome. We can talk about that in a second. We've also implemented crash fixes and adjustment to tournament matchmaking that will lead to tighter player skill gap in tournament. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up guys. This is amazing. Um, okay, okay, we'll, we'll get into it. Let me finish the text. Uh, so there is also a fix to the crossplay setting so it can be turned off successfully. Okay, on top of all of this, we have some new content in the store. Okay, that's expected. We have a survey available now in Embark ID that focuses on solo banquet and would appreciate it if you had time to give us some feedback. A note about the future based on your feedback and on our own telemetry evaluation. So that basically means the stats they have. We recognize that the recon senses ability for the medium build needs an overhaul and we're working on that right now awesome that is also great news um do they let's see let's see let's see because I, I don't want to skip over everything okay i guess we'll, we'll come back to that if they don't talk about it in the details but let's get into the balance changes so for the gadgets defibrillators decrease the length of invulnerability applied after revive to 0 0.75 from 1.5 i mean honestly first thing for sure that's amazing Second, I'm actually so surprised by the actual amount of time of pro the, the protection that was up, because 1.5 is crazy long. The problem here, and the reason why I'm so excited about this, is in-game, it it's not about the player being revived, like because I don't know if you guys... Uh, saw it or, or realize it whatever but when you get revived you get this very white screen for a while so it kind of covers probably this this length of time or close to to it something around that and that's honestly fine you can't see anything so it makes sense that you're protected but the problem is that it is so long as it stands that some people and not gonna lie i've used it before would actually use respond players as a like unbreakable shield basically so reducing from 1.5 to 0 0.75, that makes a lot of sense. Revives is the same. Uh, so yeah, basically same thing, but whether you respond uh, through a full revive or a defibrillator, now you won't have that shield for too long. I'm quite excited to see how that looks in game, but on paper, it's pretty great. And, and again, another proof that Embark is actually listening to feedback because that was definitely a big concern of, of a lot of players. Anyway, let's get into the weapon. So 0.357 revolver, decrease the amount of bullet dispersion applied when aiming down sights, reduce damage fall off start range to 23 meter from 35 and reduce damage fall off end range from 40, uh, 240 from 50. That's great as well. Uh, honestly, the revolver was completely out of meta. There, there was no point in playing that. I did see a few players who had some nice skill shot, like work workarounds, like for for the gaps that the gun was presenting. But honestly, it was it was quite out of meta. So I'm excited to see how that looks in game. That was one of my favorite games when the beta was out. So yeah, pr pretty excited to discover that. Seal 40 increased player damage to 110 from 100. Yeah, okay, that's straightforward, but pretty fair. The F card decreased damage to 25 from 26. Okay, that's actually quite surprising. Obviously, as an F car user, I'm not the happiest um, about this change. It, it's not a crazy debuff. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see in game what that implies. Honestly, the F car is pretty good as it, as it stands, but I was 
if I'm frank, I was quite expecting the other way around, maybe from 26 to 27 rather than 26 to 25. But um, I guess they have telemetric stats that are showing different things. So why not? We'll see. Then the Guardian turret decreased health to 280 from 300. That's awesome. Um, probably in line, and that's probably why they put it one after the other. I did always feel like you would use a full clip um, to get the turret down. If you don't miss anything, you're fine, your turret explodes. But in the speed of action, it's it's quite easy to miss just one bullet, and that would basically leave the turret to like one HP or, or whatever that, that stands for, which meant you had to reload and then reshoot. And in the meantime, you could have lost like half your life for, for just this little bar of health. So seeing that is quite good. Uh, I hope it just doesn't recreate the gap because we've lowered that. And I'm, I'm actually curious to see how it works with other guns. So all in all, pretty good as well. Then the MGL32 increased dam player damage to 83 from HU. That's fine. We needed the gun to be boosted a bit. And then throwing knives decreased the amount of projectile dispersion applied when falling and decreased the amount of projectile dispersion applied when sprinting. Yeah, that's to make the, the knives more reliable. As it stood, you had to like basically stand in point to, to make any kind of hit. And in the middle of action, uh, guns just made more sense because you didn't have to dispersion that was too high so personally not so excited because I, I don't like playing against these types of weapons i feel like they really disrupt the game and the, the damage is pretty crazy but okay why not we'll see and then content and bug fixes crashes fixed an issue with certain gpus okay fine and then matchmaking fixed an issue where crossplay settings would not be respected when the player was in a party. Updated matchmaking configuration in tournament and ranked tournament mode to ensure closer matches by skill rating. Okay, so this for me, guys, is the, the absolute highlight of this update. Uh, I, for those of you who follow my streams, my videos, you know what I feel about this. Like rank needs to be on point, especially when you only have five leagues like in the finals. And as it stands, like I would play what three hours of rank and get maybe one game, maybe two if I'm super lucky, where I would be put with people my own rank. Um, I would even say like if I would estimate myself lucky if I had one guy from my rank and then whatever the other one was, uh, we just bear with it. So again, super excited to see what that looks like in game. Uh, if we finally get matched up with people our rating, that's just amazing and i would expect uh, people will actually climb the ladder much faster thanks to that because again like no not to blame anyone but if you're plats and you're set up with two bronzes it's not fun for anybody whether it's the bronze or the plat uh, he will expect a better level which they don't have and they would expect to have a calmer game which is obviously not the case in higher rank or higher leagues. So all in all, absolutely amazing. I want to say, Embark, you're 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 just geniuses. I don't know what your dev team is is built on, but this is crazy. You've got updates coming, rolling out every single week, and you seem to be listening to your community. So this is amazing. Congratulations, and guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will probably release another one tomorrow. So all that is left to say is that I will see you on the next one.